Oh my gosh, dog, dog. First of all, I didn't even hear about this story until I started. I was reading my comments. Okay, I was reading my comments today because I haven't been reading the comments lately. So I was reading the comments and and I seen somebody talk about the Andrew Coffee situation. Now I this is my first time actually hearing this story. You know what I'm saying? I did a little research on it just before recording because I want to have I want to make sure I got all my facts together. You know, I don't want to get on camera and just sound like an idiot. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into the video, first off, look, don't look at my head, okay? I got like five different do rags on. Just it's look, it's gonna look nice in a couple of hours, okay? Okay, so look, this Andrew Coffee situation. Oh my gosh, boy, it's crazy how I'm just now hearing about this after the whole cow reading house situation. Dog, it's crazy, but we're gonna go ahead and get to the situation. So, I want to just let y'all know that get your popcorn, you know what I'm saying? Get get all your facts ready. Go ahead and start commenting down below because it's finna get lit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, Black Lives Matter, where y'all at right now? Where y'all at right now? Please let me know. Y'all always talking about things that don't matter, but when it's something like this that actually y'all actually got justice, y'all y'all just nowhere to be found, my guy. So let me go ahead and get to it, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, and on post notifications. Follow you on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, man. The Treasure Coast man accused and charged with shooting at deputies during an early morning drug raid in his home. He shot a police officer. Keep that in mind. He shot police men. Okay. Y'all got that? Y'all got Okay, okay. I think y'all got it. Okay. Back in 2017, was found not guilty of murder and attempted murder. <laughs> oh. Was found guilty of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. After a trial spanning multiple weeks, the jury reached their verdicts this afternoon in the trial of Andrew Coffey the Fourth. Our Steve King joins us from Indian River County with reaction from both sides. Andrew Coffey's family and friends looked relieved when they found out he was not going to be spending the rest of his life in prison, but they looked shocked when they found out he could serve up to 30 years in prison after being convicted of possession of a firearm by a I didn't know it was 30 years. I thought it was like, when I did my research and actually looked it up, I thought, it, they said it was like 10 years. I, I doubt he'll be spending 30 years, but y'all, this man, y'all y'all wanna know what skin tone, y'all wanna know what skin color he is? Come on, let, let's let's actually look at the skin color. Cause I'm tired of this. If Kyle Rittenhouse was black, it would have been like this. Look, look, look at this man. Boy, he looked like man. He looked like that barbecue chicken that I just put on a girl last night. I'm telling you, he's black. He's black. This is a fellow Negro. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you all, man. So forget all that. If Cal Ritt why do I have captions on? I don't even know why. But forget all that. If Kyle Rittenhouse was black, it would have been a whole different situation. If this man wasn't a felon, bro, he would have been free too. He was. He would have been free too. Honestly, let's be honest. He's only. He only got charged with being a, with having a weapon of a, a convicted felon. That's it. Everything else was dropped against him. Remind you, he shot police officers. Same reason in this case. He was self defending himself. He was. He was self defending. That's simple. Simple as that. He was just showing self-defense. Prison after being convicted of possession of a firearm by a felon. We, the jury, find Andrew Jeff Coffey the fourth as to count four attempted first degree murder. He's black. I just want to get that out the way. He's black. He's black. You, you see, look, he's black. Murder of a law enforcement officer, Pat White, not guilty. Coffey was also found not guilty of killing his girlfriend, Alteria Woods, who was killed in the crossfire after police say Coffey shot at Indian River County Sheriff's deputies during an early morning drug raid in 2017. Coffey's defense attorneys reacting to the verdict. I'm exceptionally happy uh, with the jury's verdict, and they applied the law properly, and they came back with verdicts that were just, um, that, uh, that he was in a self-defense mode, that he was protecting himself, and that he did not know that these were officers outside. So I think he's vindicated from that standpoint. No matter what, he's never gonna recover his girlfriend. And that's an emotional punishment that he will suffer the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. The sheriff says in part, quote, it's disappointing that this jury did not see that the tragic death of Alteria Woods occurred as a direct result of the actions of Andrew Coffey IV. Our hearts go out to the Woods family as they still suffer from a loss of their daughter, but we stand by our statement that she would still be here had Coffey simply complied with law enforcement. Guilty of possession of a firearm by convicted felon as charged. Y'all, I'm just holding in all my thoughts because I'm finna go stupid. But Coffey could serve up to 30 years for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Coffey's sentencing is set for January. 
reporting in Vero. Okay, okay. Now let's let's talk this let's talk this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? Is my is it blurry, y'all? I don't know. Anyway, look, we've been talking stuff. Okay, so first off, number one. Y'all seen that he was black, right? He was black. Okay, he was black. He was black. Okay, now, my whole thing, all just aside, my whole thing is, I'm just sick and tired. This is how I know that Black Lives Matter is the dumbest thing, the dumbest, whatever you want to call it, you can possibly have, okay? Like, honestly, because when y'all when y'all get justice, when y'all see black men who are found not guilty for the same reason that Kyle Rittenhouse was found guilty, because, first of all, police officers is dumb for even doing a no-knock ra no raid. You don't go into nobody's house, like... You you asking for them to shoot because he didn't know that you was the police. It's early in the morning and all he hears, ah, he's shooting back. Now, rest in peace, his girlfriend. I mean, she didn't deserve what happened, but at the same time, he was defending her. He was defending him. It was, He didn't know that that was police officers. I mean, he, I mean, would y'all know if they don't even say police, they don't say none of that. And they just start getting on the ground, just get on the ground and shooting. And like, of course, I just shot back too. But my whole thing is that he was he was not guilty for the same thing that Kyle Rittenhouse wasn't guilty for. So forget all that. So stop all that. If Kyle Rittenhouse was black, this would have happened. He would have got shot. He would have been dead. The, 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 if Kyle Rittenhouse was black. Same thing happened to a young black man. You know what I'm saying? Young black dude defending himself with a firearm. If he wasn't a felon, if, if his weapon wasn't convicted, uh, convicted by a felon, I promise you he would have been free. He would have been out of here walking free like how Rittenhouse was. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So stop all that Black Lives Matter, this and that. Because when y'all, when Black Lives Matter comes to a, a, a decision right here, this is where you can say, oh, yes, now this is Black Lives Matter. Now this right here is justice for a black man. But y'all know where to be found. This situation right here is currently sitting at what? Let's see. 26,000 views. 26,000 views. That's it. This whole entire news thing is currently sitting at 26,000 views. And I'm telling you, this is proof right here that Black Lives Matter is dumb. All that, if he was black, if he was this, if he was that, that's all stupid. At the end of the day, it's all stupid. I'm telling you, it's all stupid. Like, <laughs> y'all don't got nothing to say about this. this is, nobody's talking about this situation right here. Nobody. I haven't heard one YouTuber mention it. I haven't heard nobody mention it. Shout out to y'all for actually commenting on the video because I didn't hear nobody mention this whole situation. Y'all need to get y'all heads right. It's not all about race. It's not about if, he, if they was black, if they was It's not about that. It's not about race. If the per, if, if Kyle Rittenhouse was shooting innocent people, he would have went to jail too. They wouldn't just let him walk free like that. You know what I'm saying? But he was defending himself. That's why he walked free. This dude, if he was shooting at the police after the police said, Police! Get down! And he started to shoot. He would have been dead or he would have been in jail. Simple as that. Y'all got to realize. And then for this little article thing right here that say, it, uh, where, where is it? Um, right here. Um, but we stand by our statement that she, that she will still be here. Had coffee simply complied with law enforcement. How in the world is he going to comply with law, law enforcement? when He didn't even know it was the law at his door. That man, I mean, like, you you, you getting some good sleep. You sleep, booty butt neck, and next thing you know, you have people, you have things just breaking down, door breaking down, everything just breaking down. And I guarantee they didn't find no drugs. I guarantee they didn't find no drugs. Because they did find drugs, they would have charged him with that too. They would charge him with drug charges. So I'm assuming they didn't find any drugs in the house. So this man walked away, not guilty of murder, attempted murder, not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Innocent. Nobody's talking about this though. Nobody. Y'all so much on Kyle Rittenhouse because he's white. That's simple as that. That's the only reason why that story blown up so much because the man is white and your black people think that every every white person that get away with things like that is if he, they was black, if they was black. <laughs> Shut all that if they was black up, bro. It, it's not about race. It's not about that. It's not. If Kyle Rittenhouse, like I said, if Kyle Rittenhouse would did something that was intentional, intentionally to hurt other people, bystanders that didn't come at him first, he would have been in jail. He would have been locked up too. Simple. I don't get. I don't get what y'all don't understand about that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. I, I was like, I had to go ahead and react to this, bro. When I seen that comment, shout out to the person that commented this situation. I seen that comment. I'm like, yeah, I gotta hop on the story. Did my quick research. Just got all the pro like details that I needed to know about the situation. And look. Psh, Hey, I had to go ahead and do it. I had to do it to him. 
Where y'all at? Where y'all at? BLM? Where y'all at? I don't see y'all nowhere to be found when it's situations like this. Y'all so much worried about a white man doing this and a white man doing that. Where y'all at when a black man get justice? Where y'all at when a black man get justice? Come on. Where y'all at? This got me hyped. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of black, black this, black, black that, black, black this. This man is black as I don't know what. And that's not me being colorist or nothing like that because I'm black myself. Come on, dog. Real talk. Anyways, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, The Pan, man. Hey, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Look, bro, I'm happy. I am happy, dog. This just made my day. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, The Pan. God bless, stay blessed. I love every single one of y'all. Yeah. Peace.